we see the whole package when we look at all our students. Mm. Yeah. Welcome to Rhodes University Faculty of Pharmacy. It's the only faculty of pharmacy in South Africa and we are proud to say that openly uh, that we are one of the best uh, uh, faculties, uh, one of the best in terms of the BFAM program in South Africa. We start from understanding ourselves as a faculty, where we come from. We started offering this program in 1957. So you can imagine, for more than 60 years, we've been uh, administering a program of this uh, kind, the BFAM program. We, we believe uh, that what we do uh, resonates with many of the pharmacies that you find out there, whether it's in government, whether it's in terms of policy, those who are in industry, those who are in community pharmacies, and those who are in hospital, and those who are in academia as well. So we we, we grow, we grow talent, uh, we, we, we grow uh, pharmacists, if you allow me to use a word like that. When you talk about growth, it talks about germination. When you talk about germination, it means you're talking about the soil. Yes. So this is a place, it's fertile. When you come to Rhodes University, we guarantee you that if you walk with us, we'll walk with you. Yeah. I'll, I'll tell you, we, we are a very small university. But that's, that's on its own. It means that those who are going to be teaching you, the lecturers, the professors, they do have time for you. You're not a number. University, but you, you are an individual that we take from first year, second year, third year, fourth year. And I'm, I'm the product of Rhodes University. I'm standing here. I, I've, I've been here. Uh, I first had the same questions uh, that each and every one of you has. Mm. And I was able to walk with my lecturers. I was able to walk with my professors. And, and obviously, in terms of uh, the capacity, uh, what the, the faculty offers in terms of the courses, and those who are going to be able to teach you, to mentor you, to tutor you, you then get into the feeling of understanding what it means to be a, a pharmacist. Mm. The, the other students call us uh, the, the white court group. <laughs> we even have a white court ceremony where we get our first years welcoming them in, in, into the program. It's like welcoming them into the profession where we have the pharmacist in, in the faculty and pharmacist who are in town, in, in the municipality, who come and actually give speeches to tell our students what it means to be a, a pharmacist. What happens is, whilst you are still doing the BFARM, you register with the South African Pharmacy Council as a student. So in terms of the scope of practice, uh, there are certain, certain tasks that you'll be able to do as a pharmacist assistant, but you're a student. So after the four years successful completion of the BFARM 4 degree, then it's a one-year internship. And after the one-year internship, it's another one year of community service. So in total, it means to be a qualified pharmacist, to be able to practice independently. It's the four years, one year internship, one year community service. So you complete that in six years, then you are a, a registered, fully registered pharmacist who can work independently. We are a, a practice-based uh, program. In, in, its, in its kind. So the, the one year internship, it's a year to consolidate. The four years, which is more on a theory base, but obviously there are elements of practice there. You, you start now working in one particular area. If you elect to, or you choose to do an internship in hospital, so your focus then is it's in hospital. If you elect to go to industry, that one year you consolidate on what you learned in class in that environment. There are so many. So you can also do an academic internship.
internship, which means you come back, you, you do a master's degree in pharmacy. Whilst doing uh, the master's degree, mm. you are also getting into the rhythm of understanding what it means, therefore, from an educational uh, sector in that kind of background. So it's consolidation here. The subjects that they, they should carry with them, obviously the first one is mathematics. Physical sciences, life sciences, those three are our key courses that we actually look at in terms of subjects. And that obviously will be supported by languages, uh, English as one and, and, and another language uh, that a, a candidate would have. And then two more subjects, uh, courses uh, that, uh, uh, that the learner should have. But balancing that obviously, it's not that we want specifically someone who think uh, mathematically. Remember that when we talk about a pharmacist, it's somebody who's going to interact with patients. You interact with the community. Mm. When you interact with the community, basically you need someone who's going to be able to engage. And you engage with communities in terms of uh, talking about their diseases, talking about lifestyle. So those elements, therefore, we also pick them up to those who actually enjoy reading. There's a lot of reading here, so which means those who even who do literature, uh, we take them. But obviously, central to all the courses that I've explained are the three mathematics, physical sciences, and life sciences. Let the brain power that is in metric, as we speak right now in 2021, all converge to Makanda Rhodes University to the only faculty of pharmacy in South Africa. And we are going to take you through and the vaccine that should come, the contribution should be coming from this generation. All roads lead to roads where 